Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the Turd Boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the Turd Boy. In our today's video, we will try to solve real life problems involving addition and subtraction of fractions. So in this kind of topic, we need to apply our knowledge on how to add and subtract fractions, even the mixed numbers. So if you want to learn that those skills on how to add or subtract fractions and mixed numbers, ilalagay natin sa ating description box yung links ng bawat videos na yan. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here two problems in which we will try to employ or use our skill about addition and subtraction of fractions. Siyempre, ang pinaka-basic dito guys, aside from knowing the way on how to add and subtract fractions and mixed numbers, it is important for you to know and to understand the problem well para mas madali nyo siyang maintindihan or madali nyo siyang magawa. So let's have the first problem. The pupils of Adelina 1 Elementary School conducted a contest wherein they will make, they will make something out of recyclable, recyclable materials. The pupils collected 1 and 2 over 3 kilograms of used bottles and 1 and 4 over 5 kilograms of used newspaper. How many kilograms of recycled materials did the pupils collect? So here, meron silang sinaliyang contest or may ginamang contest yung pupils ng Adelina 1 Elementary School and ang target nila is to collect recyclable materials. And dito, as you can see, there are two, two types of recyclable materials na nakuha nila. First, nakakuha sila ng 1 and 2 third kilograms of used bottles. And the second one, ay nakakuha sila. Lagyan lang natin na, we have uh, used bottles. Now, what's the use bottles, which is 1 and 2 over 3 kilograms. Thanks. Uh, Nakakuha rin sila ng 1 and 4 over 5 kilograms of used newspaper. So, meron silang nakuha used newspaper, which is 1 and 4 over 5 kilograms. Now, the question here, how many kilograms of recycled materials did the pupils collect? Now, we will think, ano ba yung, or what is the proper, or what is the proper operation to be used in solving this problem? Gando karami yung recycled materials na na-collect ng mga participants ng contest of Adelina 1 National Adelina 1 Elementary School. So since hindi yun yung uh, how many kilograms of recycled materials, isipin natin, is it the addition or subtraction of fractions? So dito, ang gagamitin natin is addition because we need to know the total or the sum or the total kilograms of the recycled materials. So what we will do is we will use addition. So dito, we will add these two mixed numbers. We have 1 and 2 thirds plus 1 and 4 over 5 kilograms of newspaper. Now, guys, this time, we will add these mixed numbers. Para ba tayo mag-add ng mixed numbers? Ako, ang ginagawa ko, I am separating the whole numbers and I am separating the fractions in adding so we have here 1 plus 1 plus 2 thirds plus 4 over 5. Ito 1 plus 1 natin are the whole numbers and these are your fractions. So 1 plus 1 is simply 2. So kailangan lang natin is to add the fractions. So we need to get the LCD. The LCD of 3 and 5 is 15. And we need to divide 15 by the first denominator, which is 3. 
15 divided by 3 is 5 times 2, this will give you the answer of 10. And 15 divided by 5, that is 3, times 4, that is plus 12. So as you can see, we can add now the numerators. We have 10 plus 12, and this will give us 2 and 22 over 15. So as you can see, guys, we have here an improper fraction, which is 22 over 15, wherein we can convert or write this improper fraction into mixed number. So how to do that? All you need to do is divide your numerator by your denominator. That is 22 divided by 15. And 22 divided by 15 is 1. And 1 times 15 is 15. So we have here the answer of 7 when we subtract them. And the converted or the equivalent mixed number of 22 over 15 is simply, we have here 2 plus 2. Plus, get the whole number or the quotient which is 1. And then we have 7 over 15. And when we add these numbers, 2 plus 1, this will give you 3. Therefore, the total recycled materials gathered by the students in a given contest of Adelino 1 National High School, the total recycled materials is equal to 3 and 7 over 15 kilograms. Ito yung total natin. Okay? You can write a sentence na pwede sumagot sa mismong problem natin. And this is the total. 3 over, 3 and 7 over 15 kilograms. So I hope na nakuha niyo yung problem natin for number 1. Now let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, Mr. Guevara's tablecloth, which was 3 and 1 over 8 meters, 3 and, over, 3 and 1 over 8 meters long, got stained near the edge. He cut the 3 over 8 meters which got stained. How long is the tablecloth now? So, ang situation dito, ang nagkaroon ng stain yung uh, tablecloth ni Mr. Guevara, which was 3, over, 3 and 1 over 8 meters long. And then, yung, yung, ano, yung mismong stain nun ay nasa edge lang naman. And then he, he decided to cut uh, the 3 over 8 meters na nagkaroon ng stain. Ang tanong dito, how long is the tablecloth now? So as you can see, since meron tayong word na cut, so dito meron na tayong clue that we need to use subtraction. So what you will do is to get the original length of your tablecloth, which is 3 and 1 over 18, uh, 1 over 8 meters, and then you will subtract 3 over 8. So as you can see guys, um, we cannot subtract directly uh, 3 over 8 from 1 over 8 because we can do it. So what we will do is we will convert this mixed number into an improper fraction. So yung 3 over 8 natin, uh, 3 and 1 over 8 natin, can be converted into a mixed number. First, you will multiply and then add. So we have three, 8 times 3 is equal to 24 plus 1. This will give you the answer of 25. So this is 25 over 8. So we can rewrite 3 and 1 over 8 as 25 over 8. Then minus 3 over 8. And as you can see, we have now the same denominator and we can easily subtract 3 over 8 from this improper fraction. So we need to subtract 25 by 3. This will give us 22 over 8. So um, 20 over 8 meters, but we need to convert this into a mixed number also. So what you will do is to bring back 22 over 8 into a mixed number. So that is 22 divided by 8. And the answer here is 2. 2 times 8 
is simply 16 and then we can subtract this it will become 6 okay so as you can see guys ito na yung kanyang, ano, um, or we have 2 and 6 over 8 yung mismo na number natin that is the quotient and then the remainder here is your numerator and your divisor is the denominator and as you can see you can still simplify 6 over 8 and this will give you the answer of 2 and 2 2 and 3 over 4 so meron tayo dito measurement which is meters so ganito nga yung kahaba yung natirang uh, natirang table clock once na kinat na ni Mr. Rivara yung stain clock which is 3 over 8 meters from 3 and, of, 3 and 1 over 8 meters. I hope guys na you learned something from this video on how to solve word problems involving fractions. And the focus natin dito is on how to use addition and subtraction of fractions in solving real life problems. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!